Hello everyone, my name is Azatru, how are you and welcome to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 mod showcase video of mine and it is the top 5 mods of the week, episode 81 and I've got 5 really awesome mods to share with you in this video. This week has been a huge week for modding. I think like 30 mods or more have been made because of the new updates we had for Lucia, Clone Commandos, Instant Action, Co-op and more. It's been really hard to narrow it down to just five mods, but I think you guys will absolutely love these mods, especially Clone Commando fans. But before I get into the top five countdown, I'd really appreciate it if you guys could drop a like on this video and subscribe if you are new around here for more mod showcases. Thank you. But let's just get straight into it with the Felucia Daytime Cloudy mod in fifth position from Republic of Aviators. This changes the skybox of the Felucia map. It gives off more of an inviting feel to the map. It's not as dark or scary and it has really nice clouds. I think it looks great. I'm not sure if the color scheme really works. Like it's quite high contrast. You've got this really nice light blue sky and then you have this really dark gritty and dangerous ground, which I think is an interesting combination, but I would like to see more skyboxes for Felucia. That's for sure. Next up in fourth position, I've got an instant action mod from Fotinio, and this is a really awesome mod. This is the map specific AI skins for instant action, and this is something that DICE are working on, or at least looking at, but if you want it right now, you can do it. So this makes all of the clones the 87th Legion on Naboo, the 41st Scouts on Kashyyyk, the Geonosian Battle Droids and 212th Recon on Geonosis, the 327th on Felucia. But if you want a little bit more customization, there are some add ons. So you can get the 181st on Kashyyyk, the 501st on Naboo, Phase 1 212th on Geonosis, Phase 1 501st on Camino, Phase 1 104th on Felucia, and Phase 1 default on Geonosis as well. So you have all of these options available to you. You just pick which ones you want in the game and it's as simple as that, it's really cool. Next up, I've got a Clone Commando mod, which is absolutely stunning. This is the Bad Batch Clone Force 99 Commando from W and it completely changes the look of the Clone Commando to look like the Clone Force 99 and it's just so cool. So you have this really dark matte armor, it's grey and black, it looks fantastic. You also have a red visor, it has red and white accents on different parts of the armor, so the shoulder pads, the elbow pads, the helmet, the chest piece. There's also some battle damage, it's got some really good texture work here, and it also has the Clone Force 99 number on the shoulder. In the runner-up position for this week's top five mods of the week, I have the Instant Action Improvements mods from Mophead, and this is really, really thorough and includes a whole host of improvements I think you guys will like. So it has a standard version of 40 players or a XL version, which goes up to 64 AI in instant action battles, which is just insane. Also, the boundaries of the map have been removed as well. So if you want to go all out scale with 64 players, all boundaries removed, you can do just that. There is also friendly AI as a spawnable option, so you'll see Anakin and Obi-Wan spawn if you're not a hero from time to time. There is also a bug in the game right now that DICE have sort of fixed, but it's not coming out until the next patch, but this fixes it to an extent, so it basically allows Anakin, Dooku, Grievous, and Obi-Wan to join the battlefield as an enemy AI, which is really, really cool, so you can finally get to see Grievous. It also changes the fast battle point option to 15 times amount, so you'll be gaining battle points so, so easily. There is also a hero conquest optional mode, so it makes all the AI heroes, and it's workable for instant action, so you can have 12v12, 20v20, or 32 versus 32. It's just absolutely ridiculous. There is also another optional file, which is turning point. So this is essentially the offline co-op mode, and it has 32 versus 32 AI, it has hero AI on both, and it uses the Galactic Assault maps for Geonosis and Kamino. And the winner of this top five Mods of the Week episode is a mod from Mandalorian Business, and it is the Delta Squad mod. This allows you to play as Boss, Fixer, Scorch, and Sev. It includes custom portraits for every single one of them. It also has a custom loading screen, which looks phenomenal. But the texture work on this mod is so, so good. It really, really is accurate. 
to what we already know and love, and it's just phenomenal work here. If DICE can do something like this, I can't wait, but if you want high quality texture work with the ability to just see these characters in all of their glory in the Frostbite engine, use this mod, download it right now. You will have to use each of them individually. You can't have them all, you can't use them all at the same time because they're separate mod files because, well, right now we only have one clone commando. We don't have any skins for it. So that's the only downside, but it's not something that can be fixed. It's just something that is limited to the game, but they look phenomenal, right? People have been wanting these skins for so long, and I'm so glad they are here, at least in mod form, and Republic Commando fans are going to absolutely love this mod. Remember, you can download all of these mods free of charge using the download links in the description below, and let me know down in the comments or in the poll in the top right-hand corner of the screen which mods were your favourites this week. Let's take a look at last week's poll results, and it was actually a lot closer than I expected, to be honest. Keeley Company took 33%, which was the majority, but the CS Skybox Overhaul took 26%, which is a new high for a map changing mod, which I'm glad to see. And the Ray Episode 7 gameplay adjustments took 20%, whilst the Camino Front End took 12%, and Shadows of the Empire took 7%. Also, yesterday I made a video that detailed modding. If you did not see that, be sure to go check it out. It really answers pretty much all the questions you will have about modding. Thank you very much for watching this video. Subscribe if you are new around here. Drop a like if you enjoyed this video. And if you want to get Top 5 Mods of the Week episodes early, make sure you do become a member at the certain tier. You will get Top 5 Mods of the Week episodes early and you'll be supporting the channel. Check out any of the two previous videos on the screen if you didn't miss them. And I shall see you all in my next Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. Goodbye.